What do we got? Oh, shit. It's the Ren, guys. <laughs> oh, no. Here we go again. Who's a favorite opponent and why is it Wang? Those words do not belong together. Uh, Ki oh, I need to find my sheep. He's a lamer boy. Is this a re regular lamer? Yeah, it is. What do you think it's the most important ad adaptation players need to make in the new Arabia? Um, probably protect their map and make the right decision in terms of how to play your map. Because you cannot... Yeah, you have to make a lot more decisions regarding your map than in the in the old Arabia. But I think I still think they will update Arabia again and make a new Arabia. I don't think that they will keep this version. I think this is a temporary uh, Arabia. I have one boar there. Committing one goat in the back to see if I can find a second boar. I'm looking at his score, and to me that looks like a score of a guy that is scouting a lot of black area. So it's obviously uh, worrying. With regards to my second boar. Because I don't see it yet. Perfect would be if he actually tries to take this boar right now. While I'm in location. Good thing is... Oh, I see both boars. Okay, Pog, let's go, let's go. I'm actually... I'm expecting this boar to run soon. So I'm just gonna stick around, honestly. And... Monitor the situation because I am expecting him to find this. Just one rush him. But I'm not Celts. You can only one rush. There we go. Oh, the moment we were waiting for. Let's go. Okay, he's just gonna give it up. No? He keeps trying? What? Look at this guy. Hey! Failure! Success! Quang will be the type of guy that goes back and tries to lame it again. The golden teapot, thanks for the 15 months. Comic sausage into gifting a sub. The pirate D and Big Malo. Oh, how did that happen? Well, oops. Uh, I kind of want to go fast castle orange guns. As a counterplay to his Wang. But sometimes he just, just decides to play Feudal Age. It's a bit awkward. I love you, I but I kind of want to see you get Huang. Oh, I will get Huang. No, one way or another, we will get Huang. The question is if we die to it or not. Have you ever played with Huang? What?
Wait, I don't need to take get gold for Huang, for Huang Yi. Oh. I always forget Portuguese don't need to take gold. He's going feudal age. Is he? Actually, I don't even know. Is that feudal age? That's feudal age, isn't it? He's adapting to the new uh, Arabia. What is this? See Vietnamese? Yeah, yes, yes. See if we can get there in time. Oh, he's actually defending with the militia. That is great for us. I will fight there. Just snipe what? I failed. <laughs> Man, his militia is so fast. Yeah, I guess we have to go up. And make a decision on how to defend this. Is there an archer range? Is there a forward? What's happening here? There is an archer range. It's adding more militia even. That is a bit scary actually. Those turn into my arms, this could be really scary. That's a lot of them. Oh, I misclick. Oh, that was too fast. But he did, he did it. And here I go again, spending all the game trying to quick wall an impossible task. So we got the wall, but he hit us through the corner. So it doesn't really matter. Oh, the archer is already there. Bills always collect berries, but did they ever taste berries? Oh, it's open. Uh, this is super aggressive, though. How many men? Like, he made. He lost. He has made six militia. At least. This game so far. Right? It has to be six. Oh my god. <laughs> Please. <laughs> 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 Oh. oh, he's even in TC range. He was swung, man. <laughs> oh, it's sad. Kind of. But I love it. 
Is it GG? I don't think so. I mean, we have to figure out his transition behind this. There's a chance that he's just switching this to a full Huang, which makes me, which means that I'm gonna now take stone and prepare to go Oregon's. Which is a risk now, because if he's now suddenly adding like scouts, more men arms, then, uh, you know. It can get wild quite fast. Just need to scout and confirm what is happening. We're pretty much ready to go to the castle edge. This is stable. Now the question is, is this a stable for a scout or is this the fast castle stable? This is the fast castle. Is he already up? Oh my god, he's already up. He's coming forward as we speak. Oh my god, this is so crazy. How is he up already? I'm terrified now. Please, go up. I need to go up as well. I'm actually terrified. He had one archer down here. This is the way to stop Huang, boys. Okay. Like, I, I have to check this game, honestly, because I don't know. Does he have any equip upgrades here? Why did I not make more uh, spears? Question mark. Now he has knights coming though. That's the scary part. And trust me, I cannot afford... You know what's gonna happen here? He's just gonna be like, okay, I'll just make a second seed workshop, and then I will have two seed workshops to kill you with. <laughs> That's what happening. what's happening, I promise you guys. He's just making a second seed workshop right now. Um, let's do a monastery for now. Hey, look! I can deny that. Oh my god! That is a pog. I'm still gonna lose my units probably and he's gonna get it get it up and forward, right? I will have a cast by the time it happens. That's the beautiful thing. Should I just upgrade crossbow? I mean That would kind of fix a lot of my issues right here. You know what's happening guys? He's making a third seed workshop. <laughs> This guy. Uh, monastery. Not really a third seed workshop yet, but we're getting there. <laughs> this guy. <laughs> Good. Eh, probably not yet. He wants to though. He's thinking about it. He, he, look, he hasn't even deleted the other super shop because he knows he wants to build it. <laughs> I mean, I, I bring the two monks and I'm, I'm safe. He will start engaging, but he will go back right away. 
You shall not finish it. You shall not finish it. No! Yeah, I should drop my castle there. Style points. He has double! <laughs> the one of each build. Oh, I got a knight! Oh, I got two knights! What? Oh, are you kidding me? I didn't end up killing any of the monks. That's so sad. Please let me get that. What? He deleted the zero shop? What's wrong with him? Is he feeling alright? I have a surprise for you. I have a better unit than you. Hold the Oregon gun. Get him! Get the monks. There we go. What you gonna do, huh? Oh, okay. I, I, I see you. I was just kidding. Yeah, we need to get another castle up. We're working on it. We'll get there. Yeah, he can never convert these. But, obviously with Manganos, he can still do a really good trade. That's not a good trade though, that I'm talking about. Do I micro? <laughs> I'm scared. The worst part is Magnus shoot faster. I could also do, I could do conscription, honestly. No. But well, I could do conscription as well if I get to Imperial Age, but that's not the point. Why do they shoot so fast? Ha! <laughs> Mangonels ain't got nothing on Orion Guns. I've been telling you guys all the time. Orion Guns are the best unit in Age of Empires. It's probably not a great. Eh, it's okay. Yeah, it's over. GG. Is Huang a meme or is it good? Both, I suppose. Hey guys, let's let's do a quick test here. I, I want to see if he does eco upgrades because the uptime he gets behind the pressure is still very impressive in many ways. Like he goes full men at arms, right? Like he made what six men at arms and archers with. Well, I think he did. Maybe he didn't do fletching. And he still gets up to castles really fast. I just want to see his upgrade timing. We can even do capture age. Why is it updating? Yeah, I don't think he... There's a chance he's not doing fetching. Okay, I'm not sure what's up. Oh, there's capture age. What's my capture age scene again? Is it this? I think that's my capture age. Yeah, it is. Okay. Um. He's on the way to feudal age. He had one, two militia. Three. Four. Five.
Okay, so we only made five militia then. Okay, never mind. It wasn't uh, that many. He has no wood upgrade, no horse color. He does my arms upgrade. He builds an archery range. He makes a couple archers. Still zero eco upgrades. Yeah, no fetching. He was doing a blacksmith. Maybe he does fetching. Yeah, he does fetching. He has what eight farms, four on berries, and now I think he's he's taking the deer. Now I think he's starting the mass transition to gold as well. There's the market and mass. Uh, sold bo 200 stone, bought 200 food, sold 100 wood, and up to castleage. Zero eco upgrades. This is so all in. But you know what? It's super deadly as well. That's the funny thing. If you make one mis misplay in a match like this, is pretty much you can die so hard against this. Even now, no eco upgrades, right? Because he comes forward, he will have knights. He can mix in spearmen. Like, this was 100% the right play as well to send the vills forward. Because he gets faster firing scorpions out so fast when you're just having few lich units. The whole point there as well is, he forces you to make your own range units because he goes a range, right? But then he just pushes that cast lead so fast and you won't have a lot of numbers out before he gets his own scorpions out. So when he has like suddenly two knights, two scorpions, it's like if you have eight archers, what can you do, right? And then he adds monastery. Obviously now we deny two zero shops is massive. Still no eco upgrades for him. There's monks. Idle TC time, four minutes. He barely makes villagers as well. That was a bit unlucky, but also bad by me. But I did convert two knights, so it was kind of fine. Now we're just fine, right? And even now, there's no eco upgrades at all. It's still super all in from him. Man, Huang, one of a one of a one of a kind player, no question about it. But also, really, it's it's fun in the same way, right? That you can play like this and I just like like the idea of the fact that a player can play so obviously wrong in many people's eyes and still beat people, right? I think that is uh, another part of the beauty of Age of Empires.